and uh, welcome to today's uh, Thursday's Assembly. It's lovely to be back with you again. Now, last week we talked about the fact that it was 72 years since the uh, Empire Windrush had docked in London. Um, it's also 72 years uh, on the 5th of July um, since the National Health Service was started. Um, it's something that certainly I've grown up um, just being used to, um, being able to go and see a doctor when I'm poorly and have the doctor write a prescription for me, or even having to go to the hospital. Um, and of course, also having two children, they were, they were born in hospitals with midwives who help, helped, um, particularly my wife and myself through the, uh, through, through the birth, and that's something that we're all very used to. Um, but before that, there wasn't a national health service um, and in fact, you had to pay an awful lot of money um, to, to go to a hospital and it wasn't free for everyone as it is now and there weren't hospitals and doctors all around the country to help us. Um, in fact, it started after the, the Second World War when um, people really wanted to rebuild the country. I know some of you will have studied the Second World War and understand what happened to uh, the UK in that time and afterwards people wanted to rebuild the country and make it a better place for everyone and one of the ideas behind that um, from the, the government was to have a health a free health service for everyone to be able to access at, at any place and at, and at any time and there was a gentleman called Sir William Beveridge who was given the job to write a report um, for the government to explain how that could be done um, and the health minister at the time was a gentleman called Nye Bevan um, and that was when it was decided that a National Health Service should be set up or the NHS as we know it to help everyone else and of course at the moment um, with the uh, with the COVID-19 coronavirus it's been um, a very hard time for everyone and obviously the, the everyone who works in the NHS and everyone who cares for people, um, teachers and, and, and people who go into people's homes and everyone and support staff have been working very hard to keep our country safe. Um, the NHS have, have done a, a particular job of course in making sure people are well and looking after people and trying to make sure that uh, we don't get poorly with this dreadful uh, infection that's, that's going around at the moment. So very important to celebrate the NHS um, 72 years and to do so Today we've got a lovely story about helping each other and I know boys and girls at Grafton helping each other is something that is very important uh, for us and we always talk about working together, being a family, helping each other out. Everyone's got talents, everyone's got things that they're really good at and you know I always talk about that sometimes we find things hard, I find spelling hard and, and we try and help each other uh, to be even better than, than we are doing at the time. So it's something that as a school is very important to us and there's a lovely story about the lion and the mouse. One day a lion was sleeping peacefully when he was woken by something running up and down his back and over his face. The lion slowly opened one eye and saw that it was a little mouse. With lightning speed the lion reached out and caught the little mouse in one of his large paws and said, how dare you wake up the king of the beasts? Please don't eat me, Mr. King of Beasts, sir, squeaked the little mouse. If you forgive me this time, I'll never forget it. I may be able to do you a good turn in the future and repay your kindness. It squeaked. You do me a favour, roared the lion with laughter. That is the funniest thing I have ever heard. Still laughing, the lion put the mouse down on the ground and said, You've made me laugh so much, I can't eat you now. Go on, off with you. The little mouse scurried away as fast as his legs could go. Not long after this, the lion was caught in a trap by some hunters. They tied him to a tree with a rope 
while they went to get their wagon. Fortunately, the little mouse was nearby and came when he heard the mighty lion's roar for help. Well, the mouse gnawed the rope with his sharp teeth and set the lion free. I know you didn't believe me, but I told you I could help you one day, squeaked the mouse. Even a little mouse like me can help someone as big and strong as you. So you see, children, no matter how big or strong you are, or no matter how small you may be, you can still help others. Kindness, children, is always the most important way, and helping people is always so important. Not just because someone might help you back, but just because it's the right thing to do to help someone else. And I know that when we're in school, and I'm sure at home, you're helping each other, helping if you live with brothers and sisters and parents and carers you live with, I'm sure you're helping them as well um, every single day. Now, being Thursday's assembly, um, it's always uh, lovely to be able to celebrate some of the work you've done. So just going to start the iPad here and hopefully very quickly, yep, we're in already. So don't forget, go along to graftonschool.co.uk where you will find all of this work. So just going back to uh, the end of last week, um, we've got some work here from, uh, from White Class from Isterbrack and Reggie. Um, they were doing, as I, I know you've all done, work on 100 Great Black Britons. Uh, Isterbrack cho chose Nelson Mandela, and Reggie chose Benjamin, uh, Benjamin Je uh, Zephaniah, and have done some wonderful work there, so very well done. Um, Hattie, uh, in Silver Class, has done some superb research on the Kingdom of Benin. Benin is in, in Africa. Um, if you get the opportunity, do have a, a, a look on Google, on Google Maps, Google Earth, see what you can find out about that. Um, also in white class, Isterbrack. Isterbrack's been very, very industrious, because Isterbrack also has a mention here for his work on online safety. And that does give me the opportunity, children, to remind you to stay safe online. Um, don't share any information, any personal information. Um, and if you feel at all unsafe at all, um, do speak to um, parents and carers, uh, older brothers and older, older sisters who you may live with, and of course share it with your, your teachers as well on Seesaw. Um, always best to be in a room using a computer where your parents are as well. So just a, a few tips there to stay safe online, and well done Isterbrack uh, for your work on online safety as well. Also in White Class, lovely to see uh, Logan, has done has done a drawing about her busy day in in Logan's house. I'm sure that's a very exciting time as well for you, Logan. So lovely to see that work. Um, uh, Mohammed and, and many other children in white class are making dolls house in a shoebox um, and help them to engage in critical thinking and craft skills. So very well done to those children. Uh, just moving on, we've got um, Kobe in blue class um, who's written a letter home. Um, and also, just moving up here, we've got June. June also in Blue Class. So, so very well done, Blue Class. There's obviously been some super work being done in Blue Class uh, this week, but I'm sure lots of good work um, over the weeks. June has, has drawn her godmother a lovely picture, a lovely thank you picture. Uh, and what a wonderful surprise, uh, absolutely right, um, that, 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 godmother, that June's godmother will, will have when she opens that picture, absolutely. Um, and Ronnie, Ronnie learned lots of new facts. Ronnie from Blue Class, lots of new facts about Nelson Mandela. Um, and he's written them down there. Uh, a couple more here. Ivory Class, Thomas. Well done, very well done, Thomas. A wonderful picture and descriptive poem entitled Out of My Window. Um, I can see what it was, some, some lovely writing there. He, he sit, um, 
Thomas is, is watching the moon out of his window. So you're obviously up a little, up quite late, Thomas. Um, I'm sure it's only one night you're up so late to what, have a look at the moon because of course it's, it's it's not dark till later now. Um, Sapphire class, Muhammad's beautiful poem, Imagine. Also um, Daniel in Sapphire class um, and a couple more there. Uh, Alexander's wonderful message to us all in Sapphire class. He's talking about how nice it is being in his school and how important it is for Alexander being part of Grafton. What a lovely, lovely message, Alexander. Thank you very much for that. And finally, in Ivory class, Eloise has been creating sensation short films at home. And there's one of those on the website there. So if you go to graftonschool.co.uk, click on the home learning and then golden achievement, you'll find Eloise's film. So do go there and have a look and have a look at the rest of the work the children have done and are celebrated on the website. So let's just remember, um, thinking about everyone who, who works really hard in, in our lives to keep everyone safe and everyone well, and just remembering today's uh, celebration story of the NHS, and that's the 5th of, 5th of July, and thinking about helping each other as well and the importance of doing that. And I know we all do that at, at Grafton. Uh, and just because we're not maybe not all under the same roof doesn't mean we can't carry on with those really important um, ways of being with each other and helping each other out as much as we possibly can. So enjoy the week, enjoy the weekend ahead and as always stay safe and I'll see you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.